tonight. This is with regards to activist Tista Satilwad. Now, an Ahmedabad court remanded activist Tista Satilwad and the former Gujarat DGP R.B. Srikumar in police custody till 2nd of July in a case related to fabricating evidence to frame innocence in connection with the 2002 Gujarat riots. Now, the prosecution had sought a 14-day custody of the duo. We've accessed certain documents that have been linked to Javed Ahmed versus State of Gujarat case, which mentions that Tista and the company did not cooperate with the probe and misled the probe despite the assurance in the Supreme Court. Let's take you through the, some of the documents that have been accessed by our senior executive editor, Abhishek Kapoor. We're being told that these are documents that establish the scripted nature of the affidavits. If you remember, the Supreme Court essentially indicated that there was a, a, an attempt that was made to fabricate the evidence. Signed and stamped 2010 testimony on how exactly Tista forged the victim statements. There is a former aide who basically claims that Tista emailed those affidavits and also got them signed. Now, that's the level of fabrication that has essentially taken place. In fact, the aide goes on to, to say that the victims were asked to give names based on their enmity. Witnesses uneducated, but statements are essentially in English. So the question is, how exactly were the statements in English if they were not literate? Their former aide also goes on to say that is that Tista is extremely influential and could do anything with the help of the central government. In fact, the help that Tista allegedly received from the UPA government has also come under the scanner. Remember, all of this now part of the SIT that has been formed by the Gujarat government. We'll try and go across to Abhishek Kapoor, who's got the details of the documents. Abhishek, just take us through those exclusive documents that have been accessed by you. In fact, a lot of questions essentially being raised about the magnitude of this crime. The fact that there are forged statements, there are forged signatures, and also the fact that some of them were completely illiterate, but their statements were recorded in English. Well, yes, Shavan. So I can tell you what uh, these, uh, from where these documents come. So, for example, some come from the courts, some come from the Gujarat police, uh, by the, from the Ahmedabad crime branch, which has been carrying out investigation on misappropriation of funds by Atista. Some come from the Supreme Court documents, some come from annexures. Uh, and these are telling documents insofar as the clout Tista wielded. During that period between 2004 and 2014, the 10 years of the UPA government in Delhi, when Tista carried out her activism on the Gujarat riots uh, in Gujarat, and uh, for example, if you go through this affidavit, which is filed by former close aide of Tista, Rais Khan, in which he details, because he was a field coordinator and working for Tista, he details with great uh, clarity about how the instructions came from Tista on the affidavits. Essentially, they would come by email. He will have to take a printout, go to the witnesses and get them signed. Uh, and the discrepancies that emerge subsequently through court documents, it comes out that these witnesses, the testimonies which were written by Tista on behalf of them were very different from actual facts on the ground, what happened during the riots, to the extent that these witnesses themselves called the bluff of Tista. We have a document, for example, uh, Shavan, and uh, if I could uh, just give a brief uh, on uh, uh, on, on, on one witness and a victim by the name of Madina Bin Pathan. Now, for example, in the affidavit or the testimony that Tista created on her behalf, I went submitted to the, the Nanavati Commission, submitted to the SIT, submitted to various courts, submitted even to some NGOs and international organizations abroad for which Tista got some awards. She, in the affidavit on behalf of Madina, said that Madina was raped. But when Madina went to the SIT and was asked to depose, she said, no, she was not raped. And there are...